Hi guys, um, hello friends. We are uh, Kogos Technologies. We we are an India-based company. We are like uh, Uber for uh, logistics. So what? Uh, just to give a brief of uh, what we do, uh, let me tell you about the market. So uh, freight, it's a pretty big thing. Commercial goods, that's what we're talking about. And it's like 300 plus billion. That's the whole uh, freight landscape. But if I actually you know, exclude like bulk things like coal, iron ore, cement, and fertilizer, it's close to like 232 billion. And you can see 84% is road. That means actually road is the king. Uh, but if you look at the who actually comprises the, uh, the network is uh, mostly individuals. Like more than 75% people uh, own uh, uh, one to five trucks, that creates it to be very highly fra fragmented and organized, so they have to fall back onto agents and brokers to get the, uh, the network, and uh, there is no technology there, like in 1970s and 80s, maximum they take a phone call, paper and pen, logbook, Excel sheet is the biggest thing they use, right? So there is no integrated transport as such. Uh, when it comes to the customers, because of this fragmented approach, they have severe problem in managing the vendors and discovering the uh, capacity, right? And there is uh, very little track and trace and the service levels are pretty poor uh, and you can also not optimize your fleet based on your requirements and your um, territory. And price is based on your demand and whatever your negotiation skills are. This puts uh, very low service levels in the country. Okay, there are several approaches in the market and many people are definitely uh, trying to address the space. So these are all the different approaches and different people who are doing it, uh, but they have approached only 15%. So what we wanted to do is address the 85% of the rest of them along with the 15%, right? All of them. So we are building one of the largest collaborative network and a platform so what we do is we create tools for both merchants who could be a manufacturer, warehouse, and we also create tools for uh, truckers and transport companies. So this is our solution currently for the, uh, the problem. So we have uh, uh, the core with uh, machine learning and AI. We take in the order management, fair estimate billing. We integrate sensors, like you know, the one of the previous pictures who have the sensors, we could integrate them. These tools are accessible to both truckers as well as the consumers, right? Consumers I create here as merchants, okay? So they could put in their request of what job they need to do be done. And we are focused mostly on intra-city logistics, okay? So what is the unfair advantage we want to bring in is uh, a total digital onboarding. The onboarding is a very crucial process. Today, uh, onboarding is mostly human touch points where you have to see the paper documents and you have to see the vehicle. You, you, you wanted to know what is the credit history of a company, whether you wanted to give them credit or not. So all this is uh, very poorly managed. So we are building a complete digital onboarding experience with the thanks for uh, the digitization in India, you know, with Aadhaar and India stack, we could authenticate a person. And now we are uh, going to the next level, like authenticating not only the businesses, but also we are building tools to verify and validate the vehicles uh, with the different uh, pictures, geotags, as well as uh, the RTO database. So we give tools uh, for planning. Like, uh, let me take an example of a small customer, like, um, uh, a manufacturer for textiles. So his core strength is purely in getting the designs done in execution, but not the logistics. So like you, you hook up a telecom vendor or an account software, so you can just think for logistics, it's just Kogos as a single vendor, whether it is your inbound logistics or finished goods. You can plan when you require a vehicle from which place, it will be automatically be picked. All that you need to tell is the type of the goods and the size of them. We can plan what kind of fleets, whether it is open body, closed body, what kind of things we can all determine. And you get a uh, cost and fair estimate for the project. Right, that gives you the powerful planning. And we are integrating with uh, the major ERPs and CRMs. 
digital address so you don't need to make thousand calls to say okay come left right turn come to the first floor to pick up stuff so we actually do a 100% digital address so it is quite easy for you to uh, so this improves the efficiency seamless monitoring with different uh, devices and sensors easy payment mechanisms both for the um, merchants as well as for the truckers okay these tools um, are kind of an open source stuff so you could create your own solution that's our goal in the future you could create a fleet management solution for your own fleet or you could actually create a specific delivery option for a particular e-commerce company this is our current stats so we have 600 plus vehicles actually uh, 700 uh, vehicles right now we have around 1,100 customers. We have done 75,000 deliveries. We have done 300K. The company is incorporated a year and a half ago, and we are in the market uh, from 2017. So whatever I'm showing here is from the last year. And these are all my key customers. Market opportunity, it is pretty big. If I just take the intra-city, last mile only, small and medium enterprises, we are like 4 billion. But if I actually expand to e-commerce and total enterprise, our focus is around, uh, the market is around 40 billion. We are looking uh, a forecast of $5 million by 2019 and uh, take all over India around 100 million. And uh, we could go beyond, but this is the goal. And this is our, us, uh, this is our uh, current team. Uh, myself, um, I have done multiple startups myself, uh, worked with them as well as I had uh, one of the startups in um, digital broadcasting. And uh, my co-founder, uh, Dr. Kata Ram Mohan, he has around 40 plus years of oper uh, operational um, experience and 10 plus years in straight into logistics. And I have a um, five technology team and Maunesh and Vijayan are the key uh, leads for the technology and we have around 15 member operating team. That's our ask right now. Uh, we are uh, mostly for um, getting on to the engineering team and operations and marketing. So we're close asking about uh, two million dollars. Any questions? Sri Rama, I had the opportunity of meeting you earlier. Yes, um, Kumar. So I think the first thing uh, I want to ask is, uh, um, how uh, the funds you're raising. Yes. Um, so maybe looking at the burn rate and run rate, and I know you okay. already have revenues. Right. How long is this going to last? Mm -hmm. And what is what are the markets now you're looking at? And the second one is, um, since uh, you know I talked to you about this earlier, hmm. when you have these uh, trucks rented out or, right. or whatever, uh -huh. and there is still uh, empty cargo, and how do you utilize that empty cargo space? Right, right. You already built an mm -hmm. infrastructure. You have a portal. You have everything going, and that seems to be a great angle for you to explore as well. Right, right. So, uh, as I said, like from past one and a half years, what we have been doing is collecting data. We are sitting on a lot of data. We do understand the routes, which are pretty busy. We have seasonal data. Yes, uh, we can leverage that. We are today on a full truck load, um, uh, getting on to the less than container load or less than truck load is definitely a segment we can look in the future. Yeah, uh, as uh, uh, in building up the, uh, you know, uh, giving advantage for plugging the inefficiencies. But first focus was to, today if I move from San Francisco to Oakland, right, I actually can, it's not guaranteed that I can build, give a uh, business from Oakland to somewhere else. That's the current situation. So we're trying to get those inefficiencies plugged, the macro ones first, then we can get on to the next one. So based on this two million raise, how long uh, can it last for you? 12 to 16 months. Okay. And what is the cost of entry for a customer? Okay. You're asking the customer acquisition cost? No, no. Like, uh, what is... What does, what does the customer... What is the cost to the customer first? Okay. So, uh, there are two aspects. So I have, for me, customer is both merchants as well as truckers because we are a, we're a platform. For a customer, it is straight, the trip, whatever uh, he, uh, from point A to point B. So we have a, a complete fare index, what, and we also give the fare estimate before. The cost is at par to the market. We, we are not a premium company, 
okay we want to give the advantage of uh, whatever um, you know operational efficiency we got we are passing on to the customer too when it comes to the trucks we take around 10 to 15 percent depending upon the type of the truck and the load so that's the margin uh, what we have and uh, uh, later on when we build the whole platform we wanted to get on hook on even the warehouses to show uh, like for example you're starting a company like any company i'll give let me give an example of one of my customers he's called flex retail you can actually look up so they started a company their uh, uh, strength was into making connections finding out the products uh, and uh, finding out uh, who needs those like retail like they are like a uh, big warehouse uh, with a uh, lot of brands and distribute them and give credit but they were very poor in logistics right and they wanted trucks right in four o'clock all that they did was register with us right so like a telecom vendor or in uh, any other vendor for logistics don't build a team right you build your core strength and logistics we take care and before I pass on the mic, what's the targeted ROI on both sides of the coin here? Uh, so in the two million, whatever we are raising, so we look at uh, making around four million dollars revenue currently. But uh, as the market grows on, as the platform is built, our expense is uh, purely, uh, you know, um, marketing operations. Jericho, as a platform you have to deal with both demand and supply. Right. What's your go-to market strategy specifically for demand and for supply? Great. So um, today we have been very organic. Uh, on the demand side, it was mostly referrals and word of mouth. That's what we did. However, we wanted to, uh, as we have a lot of data, we the plan was to get on to the mass marketing methods, both on the print and uh, social media, and through uh, uh, you know uh, attending uh, different fairs of uh, different segments. That's for on the demand. When it comes to the supply side, supply side is uh, very good. Uh, we go to. Uh, like uh, there are three different places we do. One was the, like we make campaigns, we like a fair, right? And we also go to particular automobile associations and uh, trade associations and we uh, deal with them. The third um, is um, like, I mean, referrals and uh, stuff, what uh, we do. Uh, however, uh, the biggest thing on the supply side is they're all individual entrepreneurs, the trucks. We go to the, um, what do you call like uh, Tata or Mahindra, we go to the dealerships and we actually tie them up. When they buy a truck, they actually say, okay, if you want to make revenue or if you want a demand, please use us. So we kind of co-brand with those guys. The pricing structure sounds like uh, supply, supplier pays you 15%? 10 to 15%, yes. What is it average price? Uh, you're saying average transaction? Yeah, average transaction is it by volume? So it's around, average? so uh, for intra-city, it's around 20 to 25 dollars. That's the average uh, ticketed price. And we are only intra-city right now. And for inter-city, we do with our partners. Uh, that's a big, like, uh, it, it's like, uh, sometimes it swells to like thousand dollars. I like how well, kind of like, well thought through the Thank you. Is. Like, I think that broader point is for, for an intra-city, like, how does the unit economics work for you? Mm -hmm. And how do you make it work, uh, you know, at scale is, is very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, just wanted to understand and maybe like, sort of like more of a, like, is how are you thinking about your customer acquisition at scale uh, on, on, the, on the driver side? Okay. Like, how do you plan to scale it? Because it's okay to do it in a smaller mm -hmm. sort of like segment mm -hmm. when you're focusing mm -hmm. on a city and you're getting 600 drivers, when we are talking about 600,000. Is yeah. there a specific thing that you've seen has worked versus others? Okay. So definitely uh, we are open for uh, different advices. We are actually working on different strategies to get on to the supply side. On the supply side, there are several interesting things. Let me give you one example. So there are agri uh, vendors who actually take from all the way from a remote village and they actually deliver by the morning because before the Monday opens, they have to deliver and they go empty back we are not covering them however uh, what we do for them is the day in the day we actually give them local trips within bangalore so they earn the money and they go back so that has been very positive actually they don't care whether they actually have a load back all that they need is today what am i earning that's what is important so that's where we are good okay. job thank you very good